Hey guys, Ryan Hatch here with Duckett Lad Dental CPAs. I wanted to uh, circle back today on that IRS letter 6419 that we had talked about a couple weeks ago on the advanced child tax credit. There has been some confusion and maybe some errors in that letter that some people um, have seen when they received it. And I just wanted to kind of give some clarifications and talk about what to do if that happens to be you. So um, the first thing to clarify is that if you are married filing jointly, each of you will receive your own letter with half of the credit amount that you should have received. So what you need to do is you need to combine both of those letters together on your tax return and verify that against your bank records to make sure that what both of those letters combined show matches the amount you actually received. Secondly, if you moved in December or you changed bank accounts in December, that could have caused the IRS to have incorrect information when it comes to um, these tax credits. Maybe they thought they sent you a direct deposit, but it didn't come through. So they're showing you got more than you did, or they sent you a check, but it never showed up in your mailbox because you moved. They will be showing you received more funds than you actually did. The IRS is working to fix those mistakes and you should get more information um, with the corrected information at some point. You can also check your IRS online account uh, to see if they've um, updated and corrected that information for you. So those are some of the things to look out for and to double check to make sure everything is correct. You always want to match up what the IRS sends you with your bank records to make sure it's correct. Um, anyways, that's it for today, guys. Talk to you next time.